Hello everyone, Achadino over here and as you always know, you can check out my videos and also like, subscribe in the cat that is over there and check out the shit that we have that has a lot of cool things. This will be one of the Dungeon Bats video. This will be, of course, the Rice one. So, I will just talk about the bosses and the things that are not very intuitive but are kind of cool. So, for tier the Infinite Keeper, we have two things, kind of, that we can do. We can pre-cloak the circles, and we can also shadow step the frontal. He has two frontals, one frontal that is for the tank only, and then one frontal that you have to bait, and then leave the shit. Why do I say the um, shadow step? Because you don't really use it anywhere else. And it lets you just keep doing damage without having to move. So it's really good. I actually recommend doing that. And of course, for the Spark of Tears, there is one thing that I have to say. You have to pre-cloak it. I mean, doing it before he casts it. Otherwise, if you get it and use cloak, it will explode and you may hurt your teammates. You can also, of course, uh, if you don't really want to use the cloak before it, you can move away and cloak it as you get it. Now, for the second boss, we have Anduin Lothar or the Horde guy. He has two abilities that we can evasion, being the Shockwave and the Bladestorm. I recommend, of course, to evasion the Bladestorm. When it gets on you, you just need to wait one second and then you evasion. And you can keep hitting the boss and do damage of course try not to move to the other mobs so he does not get extra stacks so do it like in a corner you can also of course kidney the conjurer or the archer so it can get gripped or the boss move to it and killed fast and no one gets snapped because in high keys those mobs do a lot of damage and then for odd loud assassination and sub we can get some free cliff from the mobs that are around being in this case, getting extra flurry value, spatter, fan of knives, and shuriken storm. Spatter is not really important apart from when the mobs with actual HP bars spawn, but the yellow ones also work. Now for Chromi, if the tank and people just huddle together before the copies get in, you can AOE blind all of them. Of course, any kind of damage will break it, so be really aware of that. Druid is also really good because they can root them afterwards. If you are sub and are playing Shadow Dust, you can keep all of them in blind permanently. Because as you know, our blind has one minute cooldown and it's likely that you do at least one vanish. So you will have it back again from where it's going to go down. As for one thing is remember you can't cloak the time traps i mean you can cloak it but the debuff itself will not go out but you will just not get damage while your cloak is up and now for deus i don't really have much to say try to use your sprint well and of course as you know you can cloak every kind of damage you can also, of course, use CC on the mobs that spawn from the portals. You can kidney them. You can also blind some of them or kidney some of them too. Troopers and the keepers. As you know here, you can't stun or do anything to them. But you can at least do some things to Deus. Now, that was everything I wanted to say. Have a nice day.